What we're going to answer in this post is what is cryptocurrency and what is the difference between that and the blockchain? Now, if you haven't seen the post I did previously on blockchain, definitely go back and watch that if your understanding of blockchain isn't that great. Uh, but if you understand what blockchain is, this will make total sense to you. So in my own words, cryptocurrency is an internet economy based on a ledger of trust, the ledger of trust being blockchain. So 99% of the cryptocurrencies out there, in my opinion, use blockchain as the technology, as the solution. But now what we're doing is we're merging that with economics. So why is this so important? If you think about it, you can now distribute wealth and value and economy to each other. You can tokenize this. You can own a portion of pretty much anything and distribute that and trade that in a, in a system that has no middleman. So I can transact with you. You can transact with me value with needing, without any middleman or paying any large fees, etc. Now, is there a currency that already exists today or a cryptocurrency that already exists today that does this? Of course there is. There's Bitcoin and there's many, many, many others. In fact, there's between one and a half thousand to two thousand cryptocurrencies out there. If you want to see them, go to coinmarketcap.com and you can see the list of all the coins or cryptocurrencies out there. But what Bitcoin had successfully done, because Bitcoin is a very good use case of this, back in 2008, is merge the blockchain technology, which is our ledger of trust. It's a distributed ledger of trust that uses cryptography, cryptocurrency, that uses cryptography to authenticate and secure the transactions on the blockchain. So you've got this ledger of trust and you merge that with economics, what I call token economics or tokenomics. And now you have a cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin had actually successfully done this. A little bit of history there. Satoshi Nakamoto, who still no one really knows who Satoshi Nakamoto was, got fed up with the governments and the banks and the central banking system because of the credit crisis, because consumers were being screwed over. Um, he wanted to rein in and, and pull in control and put out a, a system of trust that needed no middleman. So, of course, blockchain was an ideal technology to use, merging that with cryptography, cryptocurrency and token economics now making blockchain economized, now you have this cryptocurrency that's actually useful. So Satoshi Nakamoto came and put this cryptocurrency out there. Of course, it became adopted because of the deep and dark web, because there are people on the deep and dark web, which for those of you who don't know, the deep and dark web is the internet for illegal activity, really. It's anonymous activity, but it gets used for illegal activity, for arms trafficking, guns trafficking, etc. And so there was a need in that deep and dark world to transact uh, without those transactions being traceable uh, like your fiat currency system is. And so Bitcoin provided an ideal solution. Now let's talk about the, the token economics of Bitcoin. This is quite interesting. So Bitcoin has an economic structure to it. For example, one of the properties of the token economics for Bitcoin is that there can only ever be 21 million Bitcoin in existence. This has been put into the code. It can never be changed. You can never increase the monetary supply, etc. This is one of the properties that Satoshi wanted in Bitcoin. So this is part of the token economics. How does the token work? How does this coin work? Um, there is a difference between a token and a coin, and I'm going to cover that in a later post. But what's very interesting here now is you have these properties mixed with the blockchain that give you your cryptocurrency. So anytime you are economizing the blockchain technology, you have a cryptocurrency. And this is absolutely profound because what this means for you and me as everyday people or even as businesses, we can now raise capital, we can distribute wealth, we can share value, think of digital assets. Um, based on this blockchain so we can transact on a system of trust with no middleman paying very little in fees and we can do this all because of cryptocurrency so this is very very profound because it actually reduces costs in many cases now i'm not saying that cryptocurrency is perfect and i certainly am not saying bitcoin is perfect bitcoin has a lot of big, big, big problems. Now, for example, it takes a lot of computing power to check the system to make sure that the trust stays valid. And of course, a lot of computing power takes a lot of energy. And so we'll talk about that in a later post. But what's really fundamental here to understand is that cryptocurrency that is using blockchain and cryptography 
also uses token economics and the token economics are absolutely fundamental. So if you're an investor, do not invest heavily in any cryptocurrency unless you have a firm understanding of how the token economics for that will work. And my other piece of advice would be only invest today in cryptocurrencies that solve a real world problem because of this technology. Not so much the ones that are just trying to disrupt the world. Those are going to take 15, 20, 30 years. Um, but really what you want to do is see the token economic map. And this is actually a service I provide as well. Uh, I do token economics for crypto startups too. And that gets done through financial modeling. It's pretty straightforward, but highly important. I hope you found that useful. I'll see you in the next video.